like the great whale Moby Richard. There she blows. He's decent, he's not amazing. Hello my fishy friends. Today we are in Mashiko and we're gonna fish this pond. This is a man-made irrigation pond and we are going to fish for invasive species. Bluegills and bass. I've caught bluegill in here before. I've never caught bass in here. I'm just told there's bass in here. All right, week one is over and we actually have the numbers. I'm gonna put them up on screen. I just have them in front of me and I'm looking at them. So I caught the largest carp, which has given me three points and that puts me in second place. A happy hook setter, he caught the largest bass and the largest sunfish, putting him in first. And then basically everybody else has two points. So he has six, happy hook setter, he has six. Uh, I have three, and then pretty much everybody else has two points. What's kind of more interesting or useful to me is to look at the sizes, because this gives me an idea of what I need. Basically with bass, uh, I'm not going to catch something this big. I'm not going to catch something over 12 inches. So I'm not really going to focus on bass. If I catch one, I'll submit it. Maybe if I get really lucky and catch a good one, and nobody else catches bass, I might pick up a point from bass, but that's unlikely. Um, sunfish, this actually looks like, I actually have a chance here. Um, some of these smaller ones, uh, you could actually find something that size here in Japan. Um, however, I also don't know is that uh, everybody else might've taken the first week easy and that after this, they're gonna get longer. Carp, um, you know, it looks like most weeks I could probably pick up a point or two, I'm not, likely going to pick up three points every week um musky pike we just don't have those here um i don't think i've ever caught one of those in my life actually anyways um this kind of gives me an idea of what to do definitely focus on carp um try to catch some big bluegills they're invasive here bass um i'm not going to worry much about bass because um we just, this is not sizes that I see here or that I catch here. I'm gonna need to put new fishing line on this rod soon. I don't know if I should put more of this six pound stuff or maybe I should do braid and then six pound, I'm not sure. Those sometimes freak me out because you don't realize how far you can hear. <laughs> well, look at what I caught. Jelly. <laughs> yeah. You want a bite? I wouldn't suggest it. So that cast literally used all of my line, which is kind of telling me it's time to uh, <laughs> put new line on this thing. <laughs> Ooh, sun's starting to come up. I need to grab my sunglasses soon. It's tea time. That's uh, quite a stick I caught. Wish it was a fish that weight. There. I think I can just. Yeah. Uh, you know, as far as sticks go, that's a decent one. Gonna be honest, it's pretty dead here. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, start to pack up and go to Mashiko for lunch. Well, I'm in Mashiko, go into central Mashiko for lunch. And there's a canal that I've seen bass in and have caught bass in. So I might try them next. I also need to buy a new net because of last week's events. All right, I think there's something on because it just moved a lot in the time right before grabbing my GoPro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a 
bluegill. Wee. Really flat. Yeah. Yeah. Can give myself a little more. Yeah. Six and a half, six and three fourths. Come on. Focus phone. All right, pretty slow there. Um, been there since sunrise. It's now slightly afternoon. And uh, two fish, three bites. Um, and all bluegills. So I'm going to take this trail back to Central Mashiko. Just going to walk my bike. Um, just because of the way the roads are set up, it's actually faster to just walk along this trail if you want to go from this pond to Central Mashiko. So one okay blue bluegill at six and three four. So it would get either one or two points, judging by last week's uh, fish that were brought in. The bass, um, you know, I could try for. There's a canal in Mashiko. You get some small bass, but they wouldn't have gotten any points looking at last week's. So for any of those to score, I'd have to get really lucky with everyone else doing poorly. Um, yeah. So there's a chance, but I think for me the big thing is going to be to make sure I keep landing uh, a good carp each week. Uh, also it is hunting season out here, that's why I've got an orange hat. It's not a legal requirement, but for safety, you know, if you're hiking, fishing in an area and it's hunting season, it's a good idea to have one um, or something or in some bright color. Um, just because of the way the hunting seasons are in Japan, it's kind of everything season right now. So bear, deer, boar, ducks, pheasant, partridge, tanuki, dove, um, weasel, civet. There's probably some, oh, rabbit. Probably some game animal I'm not thinking of that we have here too. All right, it is Monday. Thanks to this being a U.S. tournament and on U.S. Central Time, I actually get some of Monday to fish. So I'm going to go after a koi a carp. I've got a new net. Um, I decided that I was sick of trying to balance nets on my handlebars, so I also made a uh, sling strap. Actually, way easier to carry it this way. Anyways, try to pick up. Ooh, duck. Anyways, I'm gonna try to pick up uh, two or three points on a carp again. Hopefully, that bluegill gets me a point, and that'll kind of keep me uh, competitive. Hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully, this net doesn't break right away. <laughs> There we go, we're on, we're on. Oh, it's a decent one too. Oh, look at that. usually go under, isn't it? Come on. Uh -oh. oh! That's a decent one. And now they're all spooked. I better land this one. All right, salmon eggs and worms don't seem to work as well as bread. Or corn. Oh, this one's not as big. Oh. Oh no. This might only get me a point. Oh shoot, I forgot about the tree.
Why did I put my stuff all there? Okay, 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 okay. Can I go over these ones? I think I can. Okay, that wasn't smart on your part, buddy. Alright, let's tighten up that drag. Oh boy, he wants to go. Good fish. Come on. Moby Richard. There she blows. He's decent. He's not amazing. Fortunately, the truly big ones seem to have looked at the worm and been like, nah. I want white bread. That's why I'm big. There's the orange one. He's gonna make another run for it. Come on. Gotta wear these big boys out first. not to extend this thing to keep its life longer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come back. Well, this is why I use ocean fishing line for this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Also why I clip my GoPro to my shirt. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, you don't want the net near you. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, not a beast, but I also don't have all day because I'm on a time limit. I've got to get this submitted before uh, midnight central time US, which um, I think is noon or 1 p.m. for me. Not 100% sure on that one. Oh no, you're better than I thought. Let's get this boy measured. He's better than I thought. Maybe I'm just getting better at landing him. Because I remember when 50 centimeters used to be a struggle for me. I think I'm just getting better at, uh... Well, I... <sighs> Let's see, lip.
Oops, it's too far. Whoop. The tip. That looks like 25 inches. Not the monster is hoping for, but that's okay. He'll probably get one or two points on the board, which is what I need. So hopefully one from the bluegill, one or two from you. It'll keep me kind of in the realm of competitive. All right, I got a carp. My net smells like carp now. So I'm gonna get home. I have work later today. So I'm gonna submit the bluegill and the carp. Hopefully get some points off of them. And I will see you next week and we will continue this fishing adventure. So please remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come on and have some adventure with you. I will see you on the next adventure.